Hello! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark Roden, and in today's video, we are revisiting a video that I did so long ago that was one of my most popular videos on the channel, the top 13 best rear wheel drive cars for less than $5,000. Uh, this is a video that I literally one of like the first videos I made on my channel like three years ago, and it's still one of my most viewed videos. You guys, for some reason, really liked it. And so I was like, it's been three years. Let's update the video. I have cars in that list that are not under 5K anymore. Uh, and I have some cars on this list that weren't under 5K back then, and they are now. And so it's it should be a good, a good little change up. I hope you guys are... Uh, you guys are excited now a, a lot of you guys are probably like mark two things one where did the song of the days go uh it's kind of hard to do those honestly like i always forget to so i guess i'll do one right now because again i always forget to song of the day is beam by a guy named mel kelvani i don't know his exact name but i'll put it on screen um but that's the song of the day but yeah, I always just forget to. It's not like I'm I'm not doing them. Just it's not like I'm not doing them because of like a certain reason. It's I literally just forget. Like I'll I'll be uh, filming the intro, and go on with the video and don't even think anything of it until somebody comments like, "Where are the song of the days?" And the second thing is, you guys are probably like, "What's been up with the upload schedule lately?" Uh, I've been I've been focusing on making big videos for the 100,000 subscriber celebration. So I've been putting a lot of effort into that, and unfortunately, that's making it so that I can't really upload every single day right now. But once we get over those videos. Videos, and once those videos are out, we'll be back to normal, hopefully, and uploading every day. But without further ado, let's get right into the list with number 13. And number 13, number 15. Oh my god, it's the 15. Oh my god. See, this is what I mean. This is I I just wing videos, guys. I didn't even realize there was 15 cars. I must have I must have when I wrote the script out, I must have wrote 15 instead of 13. And yeah, I didn't even realize that. So oopsies. Number 15, however, is a Nissan 240SX S13, which comes with a 2.4 liter inline four, making 145 horsepower, and it is rear wheel drive duh duh get used to me saying that because there's a lot of rear wheel drive cars now obviously everybody knows the s13 it's a very popular car everybody wants an s13 yippee hippie ha but the reason why it's so low on this list and not higher is unfortunately for under 5k it's going to be hard to find them and even if you do find one it's most likely going to have some big issues number 14 is just going to the boy you know this is just this is just the gentleman the guy the king it's the volvo 240 the volvo 240 is like a cult classic there are people out there that will defend the volvo 240 with their entire livelihood and for good reason the car comes with a 2.3 liter in line four making 114 horsepower in its rear wheel drive i love the the volvo 240 the fact that they're still under 5k is mind-blowing these cars are incredibly reliable incredibly safe incredibly fun to just thrash around in. now the reason why it is all the way down here on this list however is because it, it, it does leave some room to be desired it's got it's got some uh it's got some performance issues 114 horsepower isn't the best and the car is definitely not the lightest out there so you might get a little bit bored of it but the fact that it's a rear wheel drive thrash house you should be fine 13th position is another one of those cars where it's like back when i made this video these cars were easily under 5k and nowadays it's actually really hard to find them the bmw 330ci e46 like if if these were easily under 5k this car would easily be at the top of the list like it's an incredible deal if it was under 5k but they're really hard to find now uh they come with a three liter inline six making 225 horsepower and they are rear wheel drive and like i just said they're getting hard to find under 5k you're probably gonna have to make some uh make some um compromises when you actually buy the car you might have to like fix some things on it you'll probably have to i know that the uh what is it the rear strut braces or something like that on the e46s are the brace mounts what is it I, one of them get like really rusty on the e46s so those are probably going to be bad on this but either way it's still a good option if you find one under 5k 12th place i just had like a freaking guys i just coughed my actual lungs came up into my mouth when coughing like it was crazy either way number 12 is the mazda rx8 uh this thing is still under 5k but obviously it's still not the best deal i think it was in my uh, last video but it's obviously still not the best deal either way it comes with a 1.3 liter two rotor rotary engine making 212 horsepower and it's rear wheel drive and in case you don't know these cars come with a rotary rotaries are not your typical engine your typical engine is already going to be a a, a a big learning curve if you are new to cars trying to work on a rotary instead of a normal engine is even harder uh, if obviously if you are experienced in rotaries then the rx8 is a great option but just the un the reliability of these cars paired with the incredibly high maintenance that they have is is not the best combination but they are a fun car while they're running number 11 however is a car that i don't was definitely not on my last list the lexus ls 400 because this car really rose to fame over these past like two or three years like this car has been getting some clout lately boys and it deserves it this thing is a freaking 
legend. Uh, the car comes with a 1UZ FE, which is a great engine. It's a 4 liter V8, making 270 horsepower in this rear wheel drive. You may be scratching your head as to why it's so low, because I just said it's a great engine. It is a great engine. It's really reliable. It's good on gas, especially for a V8. It makes a lot of power. Well, why is this car so low? Well, they're boats. They're land yachts. They're not going to be the most fun car on this list, because not only are they land yachts, but they're also only an automatic. It's definitely for a certain type of guy. You got to have like you got to have a good combination of like the reliability and also the fun aspect in mind when buying an LS400. If you just want fun, it's definitely not the car for you though. 10th place is a car that's surprisingly still just chilling under 5k, but very, again, very hard to find, but can be done. The Hyundai Genesis Coupe. I've loved the Genesis Coupe ever since I found out about them and they're still just chilling. Dude, if I had, if I won the lottery, I would have like 10 Genesis Coupes. I, I freaking love them so much. They come with a two liter turbocharged inline four, making 210 horsepower in this rear wheel drive. If you know Jenny Coupes and you know that there's also a lot of different, this is the BK1 that I'm talking about with the 2.0 T. Um, that's unfortunately probably the only one you're going to find under 5k. You might be able to find a BK1 with a 3.8, uh, the BK twos you're not finding, but either way, it's still a fun platform, man. Rear wheel drive with 210 horsepower and a manual transmission and a good looking, pretty modern coupe count me in its reliability is definitely questionable and its power potential is even more questionable but everything else around it is very fun all right partner we're talking about it it's in like every one of my videos nowadays because i'm really just starting to understand the car it, this is such a weird it's the chevy camaro fourth gen and it's such a weird car because i personally do not like them but again they are in every one of my videos because they always just make sense they're just such a good deal almost every in, in almost every instance they are a good deal they come with a 5.7 liter v8 making 200 or 300 my bad horsepower going to the rear wheels that is an ls obviously obviously these cars are semi-wanted just because of the fact that they have an ls but because they're kind of ugly like let's be real they're very undervalued like these things are super cheap obviously if you want like a mint condition immaculate one from like an old man that has like all the owner's manuals and stuff and he goes to like camaro meets and he posts up with all the posters in front of the car yeah you're not going to find that for under 5k but if you just find like a little bit of a beaten up one which is fine because it's an ls then you can easily find these under 5k eighth place is the goat the holy grail of rear wheel drive cars that are cheap the mazda miata na this was an easy pick in my last video like this thing was slapped right in there immediately and nowadays it was almost hard to put it in here because they're getting so expensive either way they do come with a 1.8 liter in line four making 135 horsepower going to of course the rear wheels uh again everybody knows about miatas right if you want to have a fun little car that's little you can take these little twisties look at me yeah i'm taking it the twisties I'm so cute. Oh, mommy, take my picture. You dork. Then you buy a Miata, okay? That's what you buy them for. They're fun little twisty cars. But unfortunately, they are getting pretty overpriced. It's 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 already hard enough to find them for like under 5K. And then if you do find one under 5K, you definitely got to be careful when going to buy them. It's not as hard as like TikTok makes it out to seem like TikTok makes it out to seem like freaking Miatas are like 10K all day nowadays. But that's just not the case. But still just be careful when going to buy one. Seventh place is an underrated beast i made a video a deep dive about this and you guys fell in love with it you guys were talking all in the comments you guys are still talking all in the comments like wow this is a good video it's a bmw 540i e39 i mean i, I mean like hello why wouldn't you buy this partner why what, there's let me let me explain it to you real quick and then tell me why you wouldn't buy this it comes with a 4.4 liter v8 and it makes 286 horsepower going to the rear wheels now is the car slightly heavy yeah it's slightly heavy does the car have some handling issues yeah it's not the best it's not like the miata you're not gonna have fun ripping around the corners in it is it a reliable german v8 yes somehow does it make a ton of horsepower yes somehow does it look good yes is it a sedan so you have tons of space yes does is it rear wheel drive yes does it come with a manual yes it is scratches all your freaking issues buy an e39 sorry i got a little i got a little angry there towards that that's what i apologize if i hurt your feelings and if i accidentally forced you to go buy an e39 and now you're sitting with an e39 in your driveway and you're crying I'm sorry, I didn't mean for that to happen. But number six is a Lexus GS300. Did you want the LS400, but slightly lighter and just all around, in my opinion, a, a better deal right now? Buy this. Comes with a three liter in line six, making 225 horsepower in its rear wheel drive. Both the GS300 and GS400 only come with autos. Just like the LS400, these were meant to be luxury cars. So definitely keep your eye out there. Um, I, I included the GS300 here because I wanted to change it up. But yes, the, there is something called the GS400, which is literally pretty much exactly the same as the LS400. And the reason why this one's higher than that car is A, I think it looks better. It's a little bit lighter. It's also uh, more like tiny fraction of amount more sporty but the main thing is they're just a lot of a better deal like everybody knows the ls400 is a good car and everybody wants one the gs300 isn't quite there yet 
This place is a car that everybody wants, but it's still cheap because it never will be expensive. It's the Ford Crown Victoria. These are one of those cars where the, the supply and demand is just, there's so much supply and that no matter how much demand there is, it'll never actually affect the prices because these things are just, there's, they literally made Crown Vicks for what, like 20 years, I think. Like these things are ridiculous, they're everywhere. They come with a 4.6 liter V8 making 235 horsepower and they are rear wheel drive. Now obviously there's different motor, different motors making different power numbers for what year, what what model you get. Um, You can get like the police interception one and it comes with even more. I, I, it, either way though, they're a good platform. They're just kind of like the E39 I was talking about earlier. There's a sedan with a reliable V8 that's a ton of fun with a rear wheel drive uh, drivetrain to it. It's just all around a good time. Fourth place, however, is going to an obvious one. I feel like this is just just had to be here. If you're talking about cheap rear-wheel drive cars, it'll be on this list for the days to come. It's the BMW 328i E36. Uh, yes, the 328i E36 is can be found under 5K. Is it hard to do? Definitely a little bit, but it's not as, again, not as much as people make it out to seem like it is. Uh, and when you do buy one, it comes with a 2.8 liter eight inline six, making 190 horsepower going to, of course, the rear wheels. The E36 is one of those cars that everybody just knows is an incredible rear wheel drive platform. If you want to drift, you think about E36s. If you want to uh, do donuts, you think about E36s. If you want to do burnouts, you think about E36s. They are just there for you. And if you can't find a 328i, the 325i is still a good option. Um, Although I would just definitely just wait and find a 328i. Third place, however, in the bronze medal of this list is going to the Lexus IS300. Every time I talk about the IS300, I say that it's pretty much a, a Japanese version of the 330Ci, and I stand by that. I, I stand by that 100%. My furnace just turned on, and now it's getting all loud in here. And even, even my furnace stands by it. It's standing on business right now. You hear it back there? It's like, that's right. It pretty much is. They come with a 3 liter inline 6, making 225 horsepower going to the rear wheels. That's the exact same as the E30, E46 I was just talking about. 3 liter inline 6, 225 horsepower. Why did I put the IS300 so much higher? Because they're still under 5K relatively easily, and they're much more reliable than the, the BMW by, by a long shot. And the motors, I mean, I would say the motors are probably equal in terms of their like tuning potential. But either way, I, I just think the IS300 is such a better deal. Unfortunately, yes, you're not finding a manual IS300 under 5K. It's going to have to be an automatic, and you're going to have to swap it. But that's not that bad. But second place, and this is just, I mean, come on now. <laughs> Come on now, <laughs> partner, okay? It's the Ford Mustang GT SN95. This is one of those cars that I always say to people, I don't want to spoil it, but there's one other car and it's, it's going to be first place, so that's why I don't want to spoil it. But I always say to people like, there's only two cars in the world that I would ever think about buying for a rear wheel drive car under 5K, and this is one of them. The reason why is because they come with a 4.6 liter V8 making 235 horsepower in its rear wheel drive. It's the same motor they were putting in the Crown Vicks. Again, uh, American muscle cars, they like to put different motors in and like change up everything every single year. So it's kind of depends on what year you get. But either way, it's a, it's a good motor. It can make power and it's a ton of fun. The car also looks really good. I actually think the like SN95 slash new edge that time of uh mustangs are like the best looking mustangs i'm not even joking i like the smaller sportier looking cars rather than the big muscle cars like i think they look great uh and they're going to be a ton of fun and the only other the car that i can personally say i would buy like over it is number one which is the Infiniti G35 Coupe slash Nissan 350Z. Now, I'm not going to talk about the 350Z in this video because, unfortunately, it is really tough to find one under 5K. Can it be done? Yeah. You can 100% do it. You can find a 350Z under 5K. But is it, honestly, is it even worth it at this point? I would just say no on it. It's so, it's so, like, you have to look at tons of just poop boxes before you find the one good 350Z. So instead, we're going to talk about the G35 Coupe, which is pretty much the same thing. They come with a 3.5 liter V6, making 287 horsepower in its rear wheel drive. Did I own a 350Z? Yes. Am I biased towards the VQ platforms? Yes, absolutely. But is it genuinely just a good rear wheel drive package for under 5k right now absolutely there's just no like you can say whatever you want but they are they are such a good platform for under 5k it, it, it's it's insane pretty much 300 horsepower well close to 300 horsepower out of the gate that's good manual transmission that's good in my opinion good looks but again that's all up to you that's good in my opinion it sounds good but most of the community will disagree with me on that uh and then the vq35 is definitely not the best tuner motor out there but for a v6 it's definitely no slouch either. it's just such a good all-around package for under 5k and its reliability is great and its gas mileage is great like come on well ladies and gentlemen that is the end of today's video on the top 15 which Again, I'm sorry for the intro of me saying 13 over and over again because that was wrong. Um, but the top 15 best rear-wheel drive cars for less than $5,000. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like these. I have to quickly go. It's already 10.41 p.m. Um, 
it's a day earlier. You guys are going to be seeing this earlier than 1041. You're going to be like, what is this guy talking about? Is he making this video in the future? No, I'm filming it a day earlier. But it's already 1041 p.m. and I have to get other video, uh, videos done and upload and uh, edited and stuff. So I have to go. So I'm sorry, but not a long outro, not a talkative outro for Marquis Du Bois today. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. Here's my glasses. I heard one of you guys the other day were like, hey, man, I can't see. There you go. There you go. There I am. See me now? See me? Look, hold on. Let me turn it upside down. There I am. Yeah, now you guys can see me really well. Look at that. I'm crystal clear. Uh, and Daspadania, have a nice night.